Welcome to a video from the digitallifestyle.com. In this video, we're going to have a look at this new build of Windows 10. This is build 10158, and uh, you see with the new lock screen, look at these things on there. Um, these will be suggested uh, content, I think, and things like that. So let's just unlock that. Okay, so. First of all, like I say, it was a bit of a pain to get this up and running. Out of all my test machines, one machine just took the new build, we advertised it, we started downloading it, and uh, there was no problems with it. On this machine and a couple of others, it just wouldn't show up. I was going through Windows Update and it was saying there was no updates available, and uh, I tried for most of the day and it wouldn't do it. So in the end, what I did, as this was just a clean install over the weekend from Windows 8.1 up to Windows 10, I... Um, Put Windows 8.1 back on it using the restore, and then I put an older build 10074 of Windows 10 on it. It let that finish, went to the Windows update, changed it to the fast ring, and then it saw 101158, uh, uh, which is downloaded on here. So they say this looks a much more polished build than the previous ones. I'm, I actually prefer it in tablet mode, in portrait mode, but uh, just for the sake of this video, I'll leave it in landscape. So the main change really on this is Microsoft Edge there. The new browser is there. This is um, what was Project Spartan. It's now Microsoft Edge. And this, is, I have to say, is a very fast um, browser now. It, it really good at... Uh, uh, rendering pages very quick, much quicker than it was before, and uh, I like that. It's really a nice, fast browser now. If I can you know, refresh a page, and you'll see it, it's it's really quick. Uh, a bit sluggish on this page, as you would expect on a demo. But, um, yeah, it's nice and quick at rendering pages, and I think it it renders them really well as well. As well. So I really like. Um, uh, this this build um, for Edge. There's a few things you can have a home button there. Uh, you can add that into the advanced settings, and um, you can customize some of the settings on there. You've got a dark theme if you want a dark theme. You can choose what your start page is going to do, and um, so if you go to advanced settings. You'll see the home button on there. You can have that on there as well. So all in all, looking much better. Some of the other changes I've noticed as well, if you look at the animation, if I load an app, you see how it moves away. That seems to be uh, a lot better as well. Um, there's updated music app, uh, which looks much better. It's got the little, um, it's got a, got a nice clean interface, and we've got, um, let's see what else can I show you. There's a phone companion app, which doesn't work currently. Uh, but it does for some people, so I maybe just uninstall and reinstall that, and we'll do a separate video of, of that as well. So if we go here on the um, action center, if I expand that, you can see all the things. You've got like a note button, which is I noticed that was on the um, phone build as well. So it takes you straight away to a sort of blank note, and you can choose which notebook you want that to go in as well. So it's a great way of uh, doing notes very quickly, and. Um, You've got quiet hours are in there, and that of course links in with Cortana. And Cortana's had quite a few improvements. It looks better, and uh, I think there's improvements on the settings. It links with Office 365. I think much uh, a, a, a polished build really with those with those settings. Now, one of the big features that um, the big changes that I really like is that I wish you could just swipe up to get your all apps list, app list, which you can't. But if you go to there, then swipe up, you do get all your apps, and you can click on a letter, and a bit like Windows Phone, how you can in Windows Phone, and choose your choose your app. So I think that's a, a much better improvement. Back away from tablet mode into desktop mode. Um, Microsoft have also said that some of these notifications have improved. The progress bar when you're downloading now goes from left to right instead of up and down, which they say is through feedback. And um, there's like yellow notifications when uh, there's something alerting you on there. There you can see the new Edge browser icon. The store looks pretty much the same. There was quite a lot of app updates as well as all these getting close to the final versions. I think some of the icons have been improved as well. And so this edging has been slightly tidied up around and you've got your quick access has got a new icon and I think some of the folders have got updated icons as well. See File Explorer has got the pop-out pin section as well. 
so there's the phone companion app but that currently doesn't load for me so I need to have a look at that ah look what's back battery 4 hours 44 minutes remaining that was on one of the early builds and gone in recent builds and I'm glad to see that back now so that you can actually see how much they've got left which I think is good as well so lots of nice little subtle changes I'll perhaps do another video when I've spent a bit more time with it and I'll get it working on some of my other devices but so far so good looking really nice especially in tablet mode I've had quite a few people say they don't like tablet mode but uh, I do like that and I think this is looking a nice OS as we get closer to the July 29th release so check out more videos on our YouTube channel and on uh, digitallifestyle.com